what was the relationship between those generations, European-born and American-born? In Canada, I didn't really feel it. I mean, my friends were at, at Volksschule were basically, um, a lot of them were, were like me, you know, come from Yiddish-speaking homes. Um, and Yiddish was taught at the school. I didn't really feel anything like that, except when I went to a college. I went in the States, and there um, I went to Bennington College, and a lot of the professors there were Jewish, and I would say very proudly, I speak Yiddish, and they would laugh. Well, they wouldn't laugh, but they'd say, oh, you speak that? You know, it, there was something, it, and, and I always thought of it more as an American-Canadian divide than as a, uh, another kind, a uh, generational divide, because my Jewish friends in Montreal uh, had my background, and and also the fact that Yiddish was in Montreal was not not that rare, right? And and people didn't find it amusing, and then I get to college was really my first experience of um, being outside of my milieu. And there, I meet American Jews, and their attitude was different, uh, much different. And, and I was a little appalled, frankly. I mean, I, my, one of my teachers was Malamud. Um, he he was oh well he he was okay with the thought that was really cute. I spoke Yiddish because he he didn't. But there were others who sort of say yeah. <laughs> So um, I don't know if, that, if that's what you mean, but I, I found the attitude of American Jews towards Yiddish hard to um, sympathize with, really. I thought, I thought they were dismissive and um, really had no sense of, um, A, of the language. Like they'd make jokes, you know, you know like kitchen Yiddish jokes. Um, they had no sense of the language and no sense of um, that it was a language. You know, I'd say my mother's Yiddish writer, very proudly, I'd say my mother's Yiddish writer. And uh, so, somebody once said to me, I didn't know you could write in that language. So, like, <laughs> you know, so that was a shock, I have to say.